Confetti covers the 2011 National Championship plaque on the Walk of Champions as UA students take photos to celebrate graduation. In 2011, those same names immortalized on the Walk of Champions were showered with confetti to celebrate their own historic achievement. Great team win. Every guy here, every fan that we have, every supporter in our program, this is great for Alabama. The story of the 2011 Alabama football team is one of redemption from start to finish. After a disappointing 10-3 campaign in 2010, the Crimson Tide began preseason work with the sole purpose of bringing another crystal ball back to Tuscaloosa. We knew the standard that not only Coach Saban holds us to, but the fan base and just the rich tradition uh, that, that it is playing at the University of Alabama. So we just needed to get back to ourselves, um, playing the way we were capable of playing, and everything would you know, work out for us. Only 11 days after the Crimson Tide finished up spring practice, a super tornado outbreak hit the state. On April 27, 2011, an EF4 tornado ravaged Tuscaloosa. The violent storm killed 65 people and caused billions in damage. I was living on 15th Street at the time, and you know, it was like, okay, tornado warnings and all that stuff like that, cool. Uh, I'm literally like sleep in the house and then um, just come all I remember is you know the loud noises uh, hearing people you know scream and stuff and then after it, it settled down coming outside and just um, completely seeing the whole 15th street being gone. As the team helped clean up the aftermath of the devastation it became clear Alabama football meant more to the fans than ever this year. Winning a championship wouldn't just bring glory to the state, it would bring unity and healing. With our team, that was a bond that you had never felt before between the university, the city, and, and a, the team itself. Uh, just how much that season really meant to a lot of people. The Crimson Tide tore through the first part of their schedule, beating their first eight opponents by a combined score of 315 to 55. Their dominance set them on a collision course to face number one LSU in what would be famously known as the game of the century. Uh, I think for us, we, we looked at it as that was, okay, um, that was our challenge. We looked at it as like, okay, if we're really going to make this run. This is the team that is going to best challenge us and this team that's going to make us um, stand up and improve and show everybody that we're, that we're for real and that we're serious. In a sold out Bryant-Denny Stadium, the Crimson Tide battled the Tigers and their number two ranked defense. At the end of the night, the score favored LSU, with the Tigers winning an incredible defensive battle in overtime, nine to six. Regardless of the loss, Coach Saban reminded the team as long as they won out, they still might have a chance at the title. And our, our schedule is gonna be a lot tougher uh, in the end than anybody else. So like if we just went out, we'll have a shot to be back to where we wanted and uh, to be able to have a chance to play in the national championship. As luck would have it, the end of the 2011 college football season saw several unexpected upsets that allowed Alabama to sneak back into the second spot in the BCS rankings. After conference championship week was over, it was official. Alabama would get the opportunity to face their bitter rival once more and on the biggest stage imaginable. We knew that the likelihood of them beating us twice was very slim. Uh, it was very slim. I think um, from a preparing standpoint, you know, you're always able to get uh, leverage uh, because I think we had a couple weeks before the championship game. We had already played them. The national championship was hosted in New Orleans that year, only 80 miles from LSU's campus. Even with a home field advantage and the benefit of having beaten the Crimson Tide before, Alabama came ready to play the second time around. With an all-time performance from place kicker Jeremy Shelley and the suffocating defense from Harrison Company, Alabama sealed LSU's fate in the Game of the Century rematch 21 to nothing. Saban and the Tide hoisted the school's 14th national championship in school history, bringing some much needed hope to the state of Alabama. The fact that we all came together and fought through that adversity to achieve the ultimate goal is one of the most memorable, memorable seasons ever. Uh, 
and something that will always, uh, will always be there for sure. The 2011 Alabama football season will go down as one of the most special in school history. Despite the odds, despite the tragedy, despite the loss, the team overcame all and won redemption.